Y'all, this hot chocolate is so thick and creamy and oh, it's the best hot chocolate I've ever made in my life. And it only took me five minutes to make, not to mention all my friends were raving about it. They came over to help me set up and decorate this Christmas tree. And they said it was so good. So I'm gonna put you guys on. All right, so first thing I'm gonna say that you do is you start off with oat milk. You have to get oat milk, okay? That is my personal recommendation. Yes, you might like almond milk. Yes, you might like whatever other type of milk there is, but if you want it to come out like my lovely hot chocolate, get the oat milk and not just any oat milk. I recommend this one. This is Silk's oat milk, plain because it's nice and thick. There's a certain Trader Joe's one that I recommend. And then you can also try this oat milk as well. I have tried all three of these and they're thick enough. There's another Trader Joe's oat milk that I had tried and it was a yuck hay. It was thin and not thick. So you want a good thick milk consistency. Okay, so to measure your milk, I would just say use the mug that you plan to drink out of and fill that like wherever you want. Maybe like I'd say a half a centimeter below wherever you want that to, to fill up to. So I'm gonna pour that. I have this, uh, um. Now the type of powder that you use, it has to be the right consistency. It can't be like a consistency of like quick, you know? I mean, you can make it with that, but if you want it to come out like the way I did mine, you have to do it with like a powdery consistency like this. Pour in just a spoonful, just a spoonful. Oh, I do like three of these spoonfuls. The hot chocolates that I used were, everything's always gonna be trade from Trader Joe's, but it's just a better deal for me. The peppermint hot chocolate, really, really good. Salted caramel, so I liked the idea of this, but this is like the quick consistency that I mentioned, so I don't know about that. But I mixed it with this Trader Joe's sipping chocolate and that's when you got the good consistency. I do two of these spoonfuls of the salted caramel and then I do one of the sipping powder. And you can do it to taste how you want it to be. If you want it to be thicker, do more sipping powder. If you don't, then do what I need you. If you want it thinner, don't use the sipping powder then I guess. And it doesn't take that long. Like it literally takes about five minutes. I use the stevia sugar because it's just healthier. You guys can do the research on it, but uh, yeah, you know, do it to taste. But I would say like maybe there's a scoop in here. Three scoops should be fine. And just keep mixing and mixing. And that's <laughs> when it starts rising like this, that's when you know you are done, okay? So then you take that and you pour it into Nutribullet. You're gonna use a Nutribullet like this, um, or you can use a bigger one. And it's fine because that it's hot, like that's not a problem with Nutribullet. It won't melt or anything like that. Then you blend it up, blend it up just like this, nice and smooth. All right, that doesn't take long either. That's like 30 second blend. And then pour it into your cup. Easy, like that, like that, like that. And that's it, like I said, the hot chocolate, it don't take much. Like it's so quick, it's really, really good. Um, like I said, I was getting rave reviews from everybody. And so this is my first time actually putting hot chocolate on the stove. I don't know why I've never done it before. I know why, I'm lazy. I use microwave. Um, and I will say if the chocolate, don't get addicted to it, cause I did and definitely the weight that I lost, I definitely gained back by having this like every day, every other day. So your alternative, if you want to, is coffee. Iced coffee is so good cause it has like the frappy kind of taste to it and a good thickness but you do the milk just like that. You don't have to warm it up and then ice it or nothing like that. Do the instant coffee, however much they say to do it, throw some cinnamon in there, throw some stevia in there, blend it up and it is so tasty. Mm. I'm so in love. Share this video with a friend that could use a tasty cup of hot chocolate, okay? Make sure you tune in next week because I'm going to be sharing a video on a life changer, game changer that has helped me to just relieve myself of the anxiety that I often feel and the stress. And so it's a, a tradition that I do actually every New Year's Eve. All right, so I'm posting that video next week. Definitely tune in, be right back here. Make sure you subscribe or add yourself to the newsletter so that you know when I post a new video.
and check that out because I'm hoping that it'll help y'all and save y'all so much stress, especially right now as we're here in a pandemic.